Hello my friends, it's Sherry. How's everyone doing today? I'm back with a flip through of the Bambi journal today. So it is finished. Uh, I kept it kind of simple. So I like to do that a lot of times just to keep, you know, it's fun to make a simpler journal and maybe more of a, maybe what you might call a blank journal pretty much so that the person that gets it can just have full control over how it's, you know, basically, uh, decorated and things like that you know what they're going to put in it so and also I like to keep you know the prices down for my customers uh, I don't want to make anything too expensive because I feel like I you know if I was going to buy a journal I would want somebody to do that for me so it's just kind of you know my thing so anyway let's get started uh, it is uh, bound with the wire coils as you can see here and I did put a coordinating tassel this cover I didn't add anything to the cover because I just thought it was so cute all on its own. So the front cover has nothing added. I This tassel coordinates with all the blues. There's a, like blues and greens. There's just lots of, if you look at the cover, there's lots of different colors in here. There's some reds. Anyway, this has the blues and the greens and the red. It's yarn and um, eyelash yarn. So it's basically, or you can, some people call it eyelash trim, I think. I think it's actually a type of yarn. Anyway, really cute little fluffy tassel there. And on the back, if you didn't see it, I added this little rainbow sticker to coordinate with the back cover because it didn't have anything on it. And it um, was kind of plain. So, and I just wanted it to look like maybe this was always there. I don't know if it does, but I think it really looks cute. It's just a little something back there. And of course, somebody else can add whatever they want. A pocket or more decoration or whatever. So it is... Um, quite fluffy let me show you the sides here and uh, it's got some ruffles in it but uh, it's basically fluffy from all the ephemera I stuck in here so there is a lot of handmade ephemera in here so I kept the cover the inside of the cover here as it was and this was just a cute page uh, one of the first pages I believe in the story with um, the two deer here, mom and baby, and the deer over here. And I love all the little creatures in here too, you know, all of Bambi's friends and everything. So I added some scrapbook papers. And in this pocket, we made, um, you know, some of the ephemera and pockets that are made out of Bambi storybook pages from this book we made together. So there's a video on that. So I just pulled, uh, besides the handmade ephemera that we made out of Bambi pages, which is all in here, I pulled from my ephemera that was already made also, because I have a lot and I need to, you know, use it. So this is a little blue, kind of starry looking, maybe you can picture Bambi and family looking up at the stars there. <laughs> this is one of the Bambi pages here. Just a pretty little uh, forest scene there. And then this is one of my... Uh, tags where I was using up these red uh, stickers that was a you know alphabet and numbers and so I wasn't you know it was it's weird when you have these sometimes if you have you know not you know you're not necessarily start you know trying to spell a word so you know how do you use them up I just put it down at to it not to make sense just to kind of look like a serial number that's what I was picturing <laughs> some type of serial number on a tag and I thought that would be kind of uh, cute and uh, industrial looking. This page I cut in half just because it's fun just to have a page that's two pieces sometimes. I thought I think anyway. So instead of one, this is this was one page and I just cut it in half. So it's a double sided piece of journaling paper. It's got lines on both sides. So you can see the pretty colors. Here's a little bird um, that we fussy cut out of the Bambi book. And on this side was the flash card, which I already showed, probably already showed you. Flash card belly band and a little mushroom sticker we added here. And this is a tag or a journaling tag I had in my spot, in my um, stash. It was made from a, a recipe book. And I just really love the, the uh, design of it. Kind of like folk art, Pennsylvania Dutch type of design and the colors. So that is under that. Here is a bingo card. There's a lot of sewing in here, so most everything that I was sewing was also glued 
together so that it's all nice and sturdy. So, uh, yeah, this was sewn on, and I used a light yellow or buttery yellow thread. So this is sewn around with a little tab, uh, well tail punch tab there, sewn on, and I put a uh, file folder on the back. It was already sturdy cardstock kind of cardboard, bingo card, but I wanted it to have, I, it was just cardboard color on the back, so I wanted it just to be a different color. So I put the file folder on there and that made it even more sturdy. This is braille paper here. I tried to use papers that I haven't used like in my last couple of journals. You know, I have used these papers before, of course, but not in my last couple of journals. So I wanted to use some of my different papers and not, you know, all the same papers. It's just hard to get all the papers. You know, you have a lot of different papers and it's hard to get them all in one journal. You can't just, there's no way to use all your different papers in one journal. So I kind of... You know, this journal I'll use these papers, this journal I'll use those papers, and you know, between the journals, sooner or later you use all your papers, right? So here's a tag I had in my stash, book page tag, and it has piano roll paper on the back for writing space. Very old vintage book pages there. And this is one of our little tags that we made together, just using up a little manila folder scrap, and we added that little sticker of a deer there. And then this is a little booklet here. I had already had this in my stash. And uh, I thought the color red went well with this. And it has some little, pretty little gold edged uh, papers in here. It's sewn, to, sewn together in the middle there with this, with this sewing machine type stitch. So, um, and of course you recognize the pages from the book. This is computer... Uh, the old computer track stationery, or not stationery, but paper. And we added this little fussy cut from the Bambi book. And I really uh, love how this turned out. The colors and everything go really well and really coordinate together well. This is a scrapbook paper. On this side we have, well, where is it? Pocket. A Bambi page pocket. And in here... One of our pieces of ephemera, the Bambi book. A little like bookmark slash tag. This is a little tag I made here. And it has a writing space on the back. And then this is one of the other little mini miniature tags with a sticker. We decorated that one with a sticker. So when you see this video, of course this will be in my shop. Um, this is more of the computer paper with the track so I left that I try to use every bit of that because I, I try not to ever uh, I try to use it in a way where I keep the tracks so like you'll notice that one piece was let me show you what I'm talking about real quick um, where was the other piece see this piece went this way and the tracks are here and there was tracks over here too and I I uh, put it into I bound it into the journal that that way and then this piece I put in the other way where the track is here and here. I folded it up and made a pocket. And uh, this is sewn around, of course. I really was in the sewing mode mode here in this journal, so anything I could sew, I did. Uh, one of my scrappy tags, a receipt. This is two, two, um, the two copies, the yellow. And I have some of these that are coffee dyed. And since this is not a real vintage or neutral or coffee dyed type of journal, I use some that were not coffee dyed. So you get two receipts that you can do something with. There's so much you can do with these. You can always glue them down as a writing spot or write on them, on them and put them in a pocket or a tuck spot or um, use them in a master board or some kind of collage where you rip them up or, you know, put some color on them and do what you, do what you wish. <laughs> so this is a little journaling spot I made out of some I had I have a lot of scrap a uh, white cardstock and then I have you know cut up I had cut up some of my scrap paper and to these little squares and just glued them on to the front like that like a little patchwork journaling spot so you can make that into a little booklet or just use this as a journaling spot where you write in there and then uh, either glue it down or put it in a pocket and I left a lot of the pockets plain um, most of the pockets are less plain without decoration so that you could decorate them, whoever gets this. It is fun to decorate the pockets. So I like to put, you know, if you, you know, if you're familiar with my channel, I like to put trim on here. I didn't want to cover up the track though, but 
trim or stickers or whatever. So anything like that is really fun to put on pockets and decorate pockets with. This is scrapbook paper. Um, most of the scrapbook paper in here is cardstock. So nice sturdy paper. A ruffle on this side. This is vintage sheet. Made it from a vintage sheet. This is coloring book paper. So you can color on there if you wish. Or just use it like a piece of pattern paper. It's got that pattern there and the flowers here. This is the um, like uh, wax sandwich wrap with the flowers that I put on to. It's glued and sewn all the way around, all four sides, uh, onto some resume paper. So it's uh, not white on here. It's off white. And hope you hope, hopefully you can see that. And um, this is a 1940s page a baby book page from a 1940s baby book. So it was uh, it was used, but all the pages were not used. I believe in this one. So. Uh, I used some in my own journal, and I had a few left, so this is one of the really cute little pages there. I just thought the colors, these two pages go together really well, and this is the colors, I don't know. I thought it was just something different to put in here, and I really love these pages in my journal. I love to kind of just put something here, or, you know, something here, you know, just whatever strikes your fancy at the time when you're working in your journal. I did put some color pages in here uh, because I wanted to put something in here that would uh, add, you know, add color, but be like a solid like this so you could write on it or glue things on it, whatever you want to do. And I just think they're really pretty. I love those, those colored pages too. Pocket here where we have one of the Bambi pieces of ephemera. And, yeah, I tried to pull some different things out of my stash that I hadn't put in a journal in a while, too. And, well, I'm talking about this, but this is um, an index card with a tab on it. So that's a good journaling spot. And you can make those into pockets and things, too. This is from an old, um, I think this was actually 1940s, too, a yearbook. So this was the advertisements in the back of the yearbook. And look, even the telephone number, you can tell how old it is. The telephone number there, three numbers. Isn't that cool? So, uh, yeah, this is uh, made into an envelope here, so you can do what you want with that. But it is sewn together. And then this is more coloring book paper. This is an envelope with some, some of that wax paper on it. And in here I have... Uh, this is a library card, catalog card type card, and I, I had decorated it. There's actually a pocket on here made from acetate and decorated. There it is on the back, so you can write on the back, or you can glue it down somewhere as a pocket. And you can glue it down if you wanted to, uh, make a pocket behind, and then you have the acetate pocket in front. So I just thought that would be fun for somebody. I only have one of those, so I thought I w it was about time I put it in a journal. <laughs> I've had it in my stash for a while. I don't know why I haven't used it before now, but it fit in here. It does fit in here perfectly, even though I'm having trouble getting it in right now. And uh, another ruffle here. This is a uh, torn uh, sheet, so you may or may not get any strings off of it. If it comes, a string comes off, I just pull it off. I love the frayed look anyway, so I think it's really pretty. This is that uh, tuck spot. I think we did this together. Or it's a flip up. And I wasn't sure how it was going to dry, so I didn't glue it down at the end of the video. I, I just It had some glue lines, but it dried just fine. I was kind of like surprised because I thought for sure those glue lines were going to stay there. I'm like, oh, I can't glue this down if it's going to look like that. But I, I don't know if you can see it. Um, I'm going to try and hold it up close here for you because I held it up close at the time when we were working on it. But see, no glue lines here, no glue lines up here on this part. I was really amazed. So, and I did some, uh, you can put something here. I'm so tempted to decorate this. I would love to decorate this, but I'm going to let, you know, whoever gets this decorate it. And then and here's this the music manuscript paper. And I did messy stitching around 
both sides here. So there's two rows of stitching around here and two rows of stitching around here. So this is a light yellow. I don't know if you can really see it, but it, there is stitching around there. And I thought that was fun. And I thought it needed something since I'm not, <laughs> since I was trying to control myself and not decorate here or in here. I wanted it so bad to put some stickers in here, but I didn't and controlled myself. And so I did the sewing instead. <laughs> A little index card here that I uh, is bound in. I think little pieces like that are fun to. That's one thing about making a journal like this is you can put little pieces in like that easily, and it's I think it's kind of I think it's really fun. Uh, this is kind of a tall in the frame here, so I'm trying to make sure you can see everything. But I've got a little vintage. I went through my cards, my game cards, and my playing cards to find this. <laughs> I knew I I thought I had a little deer in there somewhere, and I did have this little vintage deer card in there and I love it so much that I probably wasn't using it because of that but I, I am committed to uh, not holding on to anything that I love because if I love it I know you'll love it so I need to use it right so there's that little cute little um, deer playing card that I absolutely love it's um I forget what those are called I don't think I ever had the the box to it. I just found either it was sent to me in Happy Meal or I found some of these also in, um, you know, like a thrift store. So anyway, super cute. Another baby uh, book page there. And so this journal can be used by all, turn into whatever kind of journal you want. Uh, it would be great for yourself or for maybe you need a Mother's Day present, you know, gift. So anything like that. Or it could even be turned into a baby book, really. Um, you know, just, it's just an overall kind of um, everything journal. It can be anything you want. This is a journaling spot that I made a while ago with a, um, this was actually sent to me in Happy Meal uh, quite a few years ago now. If the person that sent it to me is watching, maybe you'll recognize it because she did the punching up here and uh, sent me this little piece of paper and now it's turned into a drawing spot. It's inked around the edge and, it's, and the corners rounded, so super cute little drawing spot. It can be glued down too. Just glue it down and you know you have a little opening there, opening up drawing spot. And this is just a cute little tag here. Got some wallpaper, just collage tag. It's got uh, file folder on the back. This is some vintage sheet here and it's sewn around so super cute little tag. And this is a flashcard tag just with a little uh, couple of pieces hanging here. A little silver cross and a little piece of a doily there and it's sewn around. Uh, I've got, I see I have brown paper on the back from like a brown envelope for writing space. I made all of these things a while ago. Like I said I'm trying to use my I need to reduce my ephemera stash. I keep making it and I'm using it, but I need to um, use more of it. So this is a little fold out here. Uh, it can go, this is a music page. So it's it was a landscape type piano book. So that's why I left, I wanted to leave the whole page. I didn't want to cut it off. If you wanted to use this part somewhere else, you could cut it here or you could even cut it here and make this into a tuck spot and then put this piece somewhere else but I have it as a whole for right now and so you can see <clears throat> it folds out I've got a playing card on there or a game card and uh, this one has something is this the one that has something special yeah this one can be taken out so what happened <laughs> I'll tell you the truth I have a little confession here for some somehow like all the pages were good I didn't put anything in it upside down but this page got somehow got to be upside down. I don't know how. And so like I was like, how do I fix that? And if you've watched my journal where I've made these metal coil type journals before, you can make a little clip in on here where the little holes are. And then you can take things in and out. So this is just paper. I don't want to take it in and out and like get it all tattered and worn. But this page can't this music page can be taken out and put somewhere else if you wanted to or work on it and put it back or whatever you want to do 
but it is cut each little piece is cut and that way I cut each little hole just a little slice right there so I could turn the page around <laughs> but now whoever gets this journal is going to have a special page that they can easily take out and do what they want with so that's the special page right there if you get this journal don't forget you have a special removable page <laughs> so that's fun right and so scrap of paper here with another ruffle I left a few blank pages for you but I did put a ruffle on any I went through and I had like three that's why there's three ruffles in here I had three white pages that I wanted to put I wanted to put a ruffle in here I figured let's put it on the white pages that way they'll have some color this is a postcard from my little golden book post postcard collection that I did get at a thrift store everything in here is original uh, no digitals no print no nothing printed a little butterfly from this book that uh, we fussy cut out this is a page from a card organizer book and uh, so this was the part this was the pocket where you put your cards and there's some lines here it says January I guess the flower for January is carnation. They have the word carnation right there. And then these lines here where maybe you write birthdays or something and then you put your cards in there. You write the person's name, maybe the day, on the day of their birthday, put their cards in there, supposedly. And then you have all your cards organized for the year or however long ahead that you buy, can buy, could buy them. But uh, in here I have, this is a scrappy... Uh, journaling card. I really like this one. Look, it has a postage mark from a brown envelope that I saved. That's pretty cool. I like that. Uh, one of our Bambi uh, tags. And this is one of the little scrappy notepads that I've been making uh, the last few weeks, or a couple weeks at least, using up some scraps. So uh, these are, I think these are super fun. And so you could use them and keep them together and write on them or whatever. Or you could take them apart. There's just, I put staples at the top so you could just remove the staples and use the pieces if you would like. So, and I like the colors on this one too. And I'm, I try to do them randomly, you know what I mean? And not really try to pay, you know, take too much time on like trying to coordinate them. But that one turned out really cute. I like that. Maybe I, maybe I took a little bit more time on that one and coordinated it. I do try to coordinate the sizes so I have the smallest piece on top. Uh, so anyway, those are fun to make, I think. And some more pretty pages here. This is the big pocket that I showed you. It's sewn on the sides. And in here I have the scraps, which I think I already showed you in another video. But uh, this is this one's the only papery one, and the rest of these are cutoffs from this journal. I don't really have any scraps hardly left. I have like two tiny or three or four tiny scraps, like little tiny scraps. And all the these pieces here, I went ahead and put in here. Uh, so I I know I loved these in my journal, is what I always say, and. Uh, so I figured whoever gets this would love them too. This one's, uh, by the way, avocado dyed on the back of it. And all these have white on the back. So great for pockets, journaling, you know, making little booklets, um, using as a mat, photo mat, whatever you want to do. And this is an index card. This is a page from a dictionary. Uh, children's dictionary, you know, or encyclopedia. I think it's a dictionary. It has the words in red and in the meaning. A couple little pictures. That's great for a background page, too. Those uh, encyclopedia pages. Here's a braille page here. And in this one, we have a few things. Here's the whippoorwills that were cut from the Bambi uh, book. Pretty little sunflower tag. This is napkin and a pretty flower. Coffee dyed on coffee dyed. Um file folder. This is a Rolodex I, card. I make these out of my out of cardstock scrapbook paper. So this is a Rolodex card that you can use right on the back. Use it as a journaling spot. Use it as a pocket. And one of our little mini tags that we made where we just added the sticker there. And then this is the pocket from made from a McDonald's Happy Meal box. 
and this is a apple that one had an apple tree on it I thought it was so cute behind that this is sewn on by the way uh, one of my scrappy journaling cards a Bambi tag from the Bambi from this Bambi book and another one of my little scrappy notepads <laughs> I love these little skinny ones they're so cute wouldn't that be fun to write on write a little story up and up and down the back um, or at least maybe on one side of the let's see this is the front here this little piece is from a legal pad this little brown piece this was a little scrap of a legal pad I had and I used it as the topper here I think that's so cute <laughs> and some this is more of that uh, wax paper on this page the other page I think I used a big piece and this one I pieced it together and it came out really nice uh, so you can piece it together and it still looks nice I was kind of experimenting because I didn't know how it would come out and it, it really came out nice so I went ahead and used it as a page and uh, it just I think it's really pretty it's sewn all of four all four sides again on that resume paper and pocket here this is a computer paper with a track again a little pretty little tag here made from cardstock scrapbook paper one of our Bambi tags and one of my serial number tags and one of our mini tags with a little sticker on it this is sewn around by the way all the pockets are sewn around I think and sewn around Bambi pocket here in here I have I think this is the last pocket yeah so in here I have a bookmark um, I when I see bookmarks that I think I can put into my journals I at, at um, you know thrift stores I pick them up so this was a pretty one house beautiful and see there it is on the back but that was from a, from a thrift store and then uh, this is a little uh, it couldn't can be a flip up or you can put it over a page but lots of writing space in here it was a cut off from scrapbook paper it's kind of a thick thicker scrapbook paper I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it cardstock but I would call it thicker scrapbook paper and then this is a music tag or kind of it's file folder on the back and then it's got kind of a collage here uh, it looks like it has a different piece of paper underneath with the music on top there and it's sewn around and then this is another little drilling spot I made from this piece of paper here that has been coffee dyed and a little whale tail tab on the top and then that's not the last page but that's the last pocket and then this is like the page in the front with the lines and it's from a travel journal just a really pretty piece of paper there to write on or do whatever color my colorful paper and a band, the last Bambi page so when you get to the end with these type of journals that are bound with the quills like this this is the back cover just flip flip it back like this this is the easiest way to close it up flip it back and there you go all closed up so I'm gonna to get together a little goodie pack as I clean up my desk here and uh, have that to go along with this journal but uh, hope you enjoyed this quick little it was pretty quick for me and uh, because I didn't you know over decorate or anything but I think it's decorated enough with the ruffles and a few stickers that I put in there lots of ephemera for you and then it's ready for you to uh, start your own journal adventure and uh, or if you want to give it as a gift that would be really cute too somebody that's a Bambi lover so <laughs> thanks for watching or Disney thanks for watching it and I'll see you in the next one have a great day